Well, space fans, exciting news, huh? And there's even more in part two. Hello, this is your television speaking. Let's push the button marked idiot and see what comes out. Well, it's going to be a busy week this week for the Star Wars Star Cruiser in Disney World. It is going to be hilarious. And yours truly is going to be covering that when everything drops online. So in fact, on Friday of this week, uh, and as I speak, there are influencers who are walking around who've been specially invited by Disney to check out their Star Wars Star Cruiser. You know, the thing that you pay six grand for for two days and two nights. And uh, they're going to be giving us their unbiased uh, uh, reviews this Friday, so it's going to be great. But um, recently, and I'm thinking the last 24 hours, uh, photos of the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser images have have leaked online. Now, I will say for this video that these are just leaks. Um, they're not videos, and I'm just reacting to the leaked images. I think they're pretty funny from what I've seen. Um, and this is courtesy of that part place, and the video and the images, I beg your pardon, have not been pulled down. So that's probably a little bit of a sigh of relief there. So Bunny Dragon, uh, they are a well-followed uh, Twitter user. Uh, they're not a blue check mark, but uh, they are kind of a big fan of these sort of things so we've got an interior shot here um, which looks okay um, I'm not gonna be you know singing his praises from the high heavens uh, but it looks okay these two I mean oh gosh why do we have a why do we get backpackers coming into this universe it's so I really hate backpackers it's such a bugbear of mine but whatever so you got your diverse couple there which is you know why not that's fine no problem but men I, mean, I mentioned the, the D word so bear that in mind okay now bunny dragon has some more images to share with us so thanks to them once again and of course, we've got this first image here. We got a father and son because my God, father figures in a Star Wars movie in the end of the entertainment industry. Wow, that's a big shock, isn't it? So um, yeah, he's uh, looking lovingly on at his son. Um, let's hope it's his son. And uh, yes, it reminds me of Space Invaders. Don't you get that vibe? I mean, look, if you look at this screen and you've got that pixelated enemy there. And it's like they're coming down from the top of the screen and this little kid here who doesn't know any better is shooting these things down. So you're kind of simulating a live action version of a portable handheld video game. That doesn't kind of make any sense. And of course, these TV sets here look like they've been stolen out of Buck Rogers in the 25th century. I'm sorry, Wilma Deering. And the joystick controls, I'm sure those are gonna break at some point. So that'd be quite funny if that actually happens. And then we got we, our diverse family here playing that Star Wars card game, which that lovely lady on CNET talked about. Um, I forgot what the game is called now, but I don't really care at this stage. And again, we don't need the diversity angle here, folks. We know Star Wars is about diversity. We knew that from the original OG films. You don't need to reinforce that here again. You know, everybody is included in that franchise. Oh my God, please, please stop Disney. It's really cringe. And next we have, yes, more diversity in this picture here. So I'm assuming these are a Hispanic couple right there. And you've got the two brothers. This guy in the blue outfit reminds me of Larry Blackmon from Cameo. Word up. Everybody say when you get the music, go to get it on your way. Woo! So Larry Blackmon, he's no longer the cod piece singer of Cameo. He's in fact working as a waiter, not at a cocktail bar because I'm thinking of the Human League song, but in fact at the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. The hotel that is in space, but is actually a ship on land. So if I were you, the paying customer, and don't these Oh my god, these are the glasses, the goblets. They look they look medieval. In fact, I watched Excalibur a couple of weeks ago, and the glasses they had in that film were more medieval looking than these. What's this meant to be? That's so strange. That is so, so strange. And you got an R2 unit in the background with different colours, but the whole set, it looks expansive but um, it's something that could have come out of a video game like The Surge. That's what I'm thinking of, Surge. Let's carry on. Oh, at last we have a couple of white folks, left and right, and one, and that dude in the middle. I think he's the same dude that was with that lady at the beginning. I might be wrong, or it's somebody else. Is that the same guy? Let's go back, hang on a second. 
Is that the same dude? Is that him? Is that the same guy? Maybe it's him, I don't know. But look in the background, it's the it's the Twi'lek Cabaret Show. And yes, we've got Gaia, G-A-Y-A. I'm calling it Gaia because everybody says, well, no, it's actually pronounced Gaia. It's like that singer, Sade. Well, my name is spelled Sade, but I pronounce it Sade. Great, my name's Dennis. I'm gonna pronounce it Kefle, okay? <laughs> they can all be fucking French. Pronounce your name the way it's spelled. And then you can suck on my penne, okay? Chante baton, chante baton, chante baton, 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 baton. Well, in that case, wouldn't it be G-A-I-A or G-U-Y-A for the not-so-literate people out there? But, um, yeah, it's odd. And now, look, you've got the, uh, the uh, I presume it's Oriental-inspired food on the menu. And uh, maybe Disney doesn't have to worry at this stage about Gordon Ramsay or Marco Pierre White storming in as an unannounced guests and thumbing down their food menu items because that would be hilarious if that happened. Or can you imagine Guy Fieri popping up? That would be hilarious. Welcome to another edition of Diners, Drivers and Dives. And I'm here at the Galactic Star Cruiser in Warrior. <laughs> So, Bunny Dragon had posted one more image, and I thought, oh, it's two more images, and I thought I'll cover it here. Now, I believe this is pulled straight out of the uh, that last video that we saw with Matt Martin. You remember that absolute cringe video? So, I believe that's what that is. And, uh, yep, we got uh, Lady there uh, with a strange, I suppose she's meant to be, what, like a... She's meant to be kitted up for this. So again, you know, when you turn up for this experience, are you supposed to be, you're not gonna have like an on-site hairdresser to do or stylist to do your hair. This looks like it's done beforehand. So they're in a cargo bay. She's helping Chewie to smuggle stuff. And his costume looks all right. It's not brilliant, but here's the best part. And of course the headline does give it away. Ray said, don't go around the corner. What is Bunny Dragon talking about? Yes, it's Raylo. She's there. Oh, wow. Now, I've got to say this version of Ray, Ray, Ray Palpatine looks better than Daisy Ridley. She's got a shorter forehead for a start. And you've got the stormtroopers walking by. And yes, you got little lady in tow. Oh, no, it's a little Raylo. Oh, gosh, I just realized. <laughs> no. We're being overtaken by Raylos. No. Oh, I'm assuming that's her mother there on the far left. It's, um, wow, I, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's hilarious. I've got to go back here because there was a really funny comment I'd seen before. Yeah, blood and fire. Seems totally worth $6,000 for the two days and two nights. It's true. I, I can't disagree with that comment. It's so bad. What can you do with $6,000, guys? You can buy two Hugo Boss suits if you want to be Crockett and Tubbs, or you can go to Japan and stay there for six weeks. Six grand will easily last you six weeks in Japan. And the hotels in Japan are very cheap to a degree, but the people are wonderful. That place is fantastic. I want to go there next year. So that's where my tangent is now going off, guys. Japan. You know what? If Japan actually had this... If this was like a Japanese funded project or if this was actually being debuted in Japan, I, I'm telling you that'd be way, way better than this travesty. But you know what, Disney? Keep making these mistakes. Susan Arnold and Bob Chapek, they must be quaking in their boots. Bob Chapek especially is hoping this is all going to go well. And of course, he was one of the on-site visitors when this was all happening. And I've got to say the Matt Martin and Tristan Feinstein uh, presentation was awful. I actually prefer Sean Giabroni and Anne Murrow Johnson. At least they were having a bit of fun uh, investing in all of this, even though it's a real shit show from what we can see, what, from what we saw from that particular video. But those two people were comedy girls. Matt and Tristan were just like really stiff wooden congratulating each other like it's the second coming of Christ and oh god come on man it's gonna be so funny this Friday so folks if you want to see more of my hilarious uh, reactions <laughs> takes on the galactic star cruiser courtesy of Disney and Star Wars Lucasfilm subscribe like and if I were you look out for me on my next video
We cannot wait to have you aboard because Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is a first of its kind oh, vacation fantastic. experience where you get to spend two days and two nights living out your very own Star Wars story. No shit. <laughs>